After two days of resting since they arrived here in uh, Mirama, the National Rugby Sevens team has embarked on serious training and this is their first session uh, since they came here to acclimatize. And you can see the heat that they are training under is the same that they'll face as they're going to Paris. So this is the first session for the National Rugby Sevens team as they prepare to take on in their first match where they'll face Argentina. Then uh, they take on uh, Australia and finish off with Samoa. The matches are starting on the 24th of uh, July. Uh, we faced uh, Samoa in the Madrid tournament. Uh, Argentina and Australia, we've not uh, faced them this season. Uh, but we, on a technical approach, we'll figure out on how to approach the matches as we take one match at a time. Yeah. Argentina are the most consistent team in the World Series. Um, they're physical, they, they're clinical in their attack frameworks. Um, they're a very, very good team. Australia's just got a couple of wallabies back um, who are world-class players, and, and they're a good team. Uh, I have a cousin of mine who is called Gilbert Osure. Uh, he's a sprinter, so uh, he's the one who even motivated me because there's a time he was uh, trying to get into the Olympics. So being here, it's a... Uh, it's a blessing, I can say. The National Sevens team is yet to be full house as one player is yet to join the team, uh, but he's uh, linking up uh, with the team by tomorrow since he's coming with the last batch from Nairobi, that is the Malkia Strikers, uh, to join the rest of the boys here. And this is the same venue where the National Athletics team will be training already the sprinters who arrived yesterday, that is uh, led by 400 meters national champion uh, Zablone Kwam and uh, the 400 meters uh, who will participate in the relay, that is uh, Boniface Moresa, have already trained here, as well as Julius Yego, who will be making his fourth appearance at the Olympics. From Mirama, a city in south of France, my name is Alexis Aboke, reporting for Capital Sports.